And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some sacrifice value. Put this deck together. We've been uh, we've been talking about uh, with like through the expeditions and everything how much I really like Chronicler of Ruin and Ethereal Remitter and just the the ability to uh, grind through a long game with some sacrifice stuff. And so that so wanted to put together a pretty sweet mid range deck uh, based on those two cards. And so that, that, that's what I got here. Um, so basically, Chronicler Ruin says whenever you play, you get to kill an ally and then revive it. So anything with like an ETB trigger or a die trigger uh, will really help. Uh, you know, like you get to you get to do those. Um, the main thing that we want to be doing is like Curse Keeper. Whenever Curse Keeper dies, we get a 4-4 four four, uh, whenever it dies. So we can kill it, get the 4-4, four four, and then also it, we still get that other 1-1 one one back. Um, we also have cards like Scribe of Sorrow. Whenever this is played, we get to basically create a, uh, a copy in hand of any ally that died this game. So any card that died, we get to draw that. Um, we have stuff like this, like whenever it dies, draw a card. So we can kill this, have it draw a card, and then, and then come back into play. We have triggers with Omen Hawk. Uh, Warren's Break and is basically draw some cards. Um, Babbling Bjerg uh, draws a card. Um... And also, we have like the Hearth Guard, as we've talked about how I really like Omen Hawk and Hearth Guard. You know, this would grant all of our allies in our deck plus one, plus one. We kill it, bring it back, give them all another plus one, plus one. We can we can definitely grind very long with this game. Remitter is killing an ally to summon a random follower from any region that costs two more mana than it. So we just we can get some random big creatures with this. So I think that like this deck is built to yeah, play like a really long game and outgrind other people. I don't have tons of removal. And so like where this deck's probably going to struggle is against, um, is against like ephemeral decks or not ephemeral, sorry. Um, evasion decks. Uh, it's going to struggle against evasion decks. Um, yeah, I, I, the undying card was my very last cut. Honestly, the Mark of the Isles didn't look... I'm, let's play one Undying. That was my very last cut whenever I was building it. Um, the Mark of the Isles, we'll just play one. That card wasn't spectacular in that last deck, so we'll just play one of those. I was thinking this could be like a good a good trick, but we don't need to. We'll play one. We'll get the Undying in here. Because, yeah, the Undying, whenever it dies... The thing about the Undying is the Undying doesn't work very well with Chronicler of, like, kill it, then revive it, because then it just gets revived immediately and, and just gets reset. Um, so it actually doesn't work with Chronicler, but it does work well with other stuff like Glimpse Beyond um, and with Ethereal Remitter. Um, and then, of course, if we can make it even bigger to start with. And then, you know, top end, I got... Um, I got a couple of Rasas. I got a Trindamir, a Ledros. We got some really powerful stuff to finish the games that go long, like our top end games. Uh, <clears throat> so, oh, you, oh, wait, it does. Okay, so, oh, so it does work great with Chronicler. Oh, because you, you get a new one because Chronicler says revive it, but then it also comes back as the original one. Oh, never mind. Well, then, yeah, never mind. So then that's perfect. Well, I only have one, but we'll put it in here. All right, so let's not face um, elusive strategies. But let's, so uh, basically we want to face control because we can, or just other slow mid-range decks. Because this, this deck should be able to outgrind like crazy. Hey, what's up? My game crashed. Welcome to the channel. All right, let's see. We're going to replace the 8-drop, the 5-drop. Maybe even just replace Glimpse Beyond. What are we playing against? So we're playing against Fearsome. <clears throat> Fearsome mid-range deck. Keep 
wants to be on. Oh no! I replaced the 5 drop 8 drop with 5 drop 8 drop. That didn't work. Yeah, I'll update the deck list. Yep, good call. Because we did change a card. So sacrifice value, edit deck. It's not it's not the absolute easiest um, thing to use, but it's not too bad either. The site. All right, so uh, save. <clears throat> the chains, they never stop. Here's some's a little annoying. Don't get to block. I gotta get out of here. So definitely a little annoying. Sorry, Roman. Roman, you need to try this this game out. This game's amazing. I know what lurks in the shadows. All right, we're gonna get rid of this thing. Draw two. That was a good draw. It's a 3 1 that gets to. gets to block. It's a good draw. Of course, I would like to get Curse Keeper and, and using that on Curse Keeper, but, you know, we don't really have the most time in the world. But having a 4-4 four, four in play with, like, these three twos that and everything, it's a, it's a good card to have in play. This is the obvious block. No, we'll do obvious block. Death doesn't scare me. It does it takes away a fearsome creature, so a creature that blocks, but basically everything in hand are, are fearsome creatures now. I always forget whenever I move like up and down, I need to move camera also. Attack. I don't want to attack with my 4 4 because I do. They block with like the 3 2 and then kill it. I don't know. I feel like we don't need to. They grow up so
using those who wander as a six drop in the deck. Doesn't that card cost a lot more? I guess I don't. I've never really played that card. I guess I'm not as I'm not super familiar with with that card. I have a Callista in here because it's just kind of a, a decent card. It's not. You have to realize that Callista is not going to like win the game for you all the time, and it dies very easily to removal. But it's just. It's something that, like you know the opponent is kind of distracted with and has to use removal on it, and then. But, Cool. I just can't really get through. Okay, so six drop. It's those th those who endure. They get six drop to one one. But it gets it gets plus one plus one for every creature that died. I mean, I could... The, all right, so that's those who endure. I could see playing that, but I'm not sure if that's even... I mean, so it's basically just a, a huge creature. You know, you'd, you'd kind of go in, like, the Trindamir slot or Ledros. You know, like, you would you could play it over one of those as just a, a big creature. All right, so we're playing against the burn deck. Noxus with Piltover and Zahn and Jinx. Definitely burn deck. <laughs> oh, Callista used to be really good and got nerfed. Um, yeah, that's why I just have one. Like, it's not it's not something I'd want like a ton of or really focus on. But just having like the one Callista, I think, is better than just a one other random card. I think it's a, a nice card to have. Uh, reporting in. All right, well, we'll be playing the Sentry. Usually, I'd want to play Cursed Keeper, but <clears throat> Sentry can block the three-two and blocks really well. And now, whenever I play Scribe of Sorrows next turn, we get another Sentry in hand. Better run. We stay alive. We got this pretty easily. We have so much card advantage with these five cards. It's pretty insane how much card advantage we have in hand. Just everything is just going to be drawing, drawing a card. Because then we use Chronicler, kill the Scribe of Sorrows, draw another card. But this thing's gonna be problematic. Just you and me, Tishbones. And them. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Not the views. Look out for Reavers. Correct. Yeah, max hand size is ten. So if you have, if you have uh, ten cards in hand, you stop drawing cards. No place for the kind, Jimmy. I'm basically gonna just keep on getting a bunch of four fours. I think so. I'm just gonna use chroniclers to make four fours. <clears throat> Which sounds like a good plan. But maybe that's maybe there's a better plan. Yeah, it's true. You don't you don't destroy them yet. Or sorry, you don't draw that. It's not that you don't draw them. They just kind of get de destroyed instead of you drawing. What happens if you have zero cards left? Do you lose? Is it like magic?
That would take all but one mana? Gosh, Vengeance is so expensive. Yes, you do lose? Okay. Yesterday we got one match where we were kind of close. The opponent had like six cards. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, down to one. Yeah, they got me. Very good, very good burn hand. My hand was good too, but that's gonna be our, that's the tough matchups for, for the deck that I, I built here, for sure, is the, is the aggro decks, the elusive, the burn, that kind of stuff. I knew that was gonna be a bad matchup. I've been generally seeing a lot more control. We've been playing like yesterday. We played against Ezreal so much, and so that's what I really want to play against with this deck. Round one. <laughs> Think it fast, cute. Be right out. This card would be so broken if it could block. It'd be so great. The reward is faithful. These old eyes still see far and clear. I will play my part. Hey, Kobo. We are in gold. Attack. Follow the wind, but watch your back. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, we basically just played, paid four mana for a 3-3 three, three and a 4-4, four, four, which is a pretty good rate. Yeah, I, I don't have any Threshes. I could see Thresh being being good in here, though. I just, I don't have any Threshes. I don't have... Big blade for a little warrior. Underestimate me. I dare you. Fight for one Freljord. Could have definitely like saved up my mana, you know, just pass and had these things, but I don't know. This is a six six. It's kind of difficult to attack through. They could bounce it. 
But, you know, they bounce it. That means I get to play it again and pump up all my stuff in my deck one more time. All right, it's done. Well, they, they have two good attacks with Yasuo and Flyer, Shadow Assassin. Oh, I guess, oh, these things are three threes now. Never mind, they're, they're not the worst attacks either. I'm just gonna go straight to attacks. And attack out. Good card. What we get? Yeah, that's the card I wanted. I wanted to play that first to see if they. Um, you know, if they use their other mana, so I knew for sure we'd be able to kill Yasuo. Round seven. Uh, we got a couple eight drops in hand. Many tribes under one banner. My friend and I are so good. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. They use a jeweled protector to give this thing plus three plus three, so that makes two four fives. It's pretty good. So we played two hearth guards, so all the creatures in our deck get plus two plus two. Yeah. Stand and defend. Playing for the late game. Close to being a 6-4. Makes Callista a little better. <laughs> yeah, we would have lost Empagleaf. For sure. For the thrill of battle. For the thrill of battle. The more things trade off, the better for me. It's like the longer the game goes, 
the better, but then also more things trade off. So then whenever we do play Rasa. Thanks, Rasa, better. So glad I don't have to deal with Ember Cleave. <laughs> that card is impossible to block against. Jeweled Protector. Making an, get another thing plus three plus three. Could be a very big evasion creature. Could be very scary. Silent as death. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't have the Rasa dream of Glimpse Beyond plus Rasa. But we'll do... I'm going to play Callista first. Call that a sword. Some didn't, but I changed their mind. So seize an enemy die. Or like, so you know, so start seeing stuff die. Could just kill Trendemir. Yeah, because we want we want Trinomir to die so that it comes back as a nine nine. Not done. But unfortunately gave Even I gave their creature a barrier. Attack. I should have Callista last. I alone decide my fate. I should have Callista last. Because Callista would be able to level up. Try. Soon they're gonna bounce Trindamir. Like with these bonded, you don't have to have them attacking next to each other. They're just bonded. Like I could, should have the sequence last. You cannot escape. It's too late for you. Well, basically all their stuff's gonna die. Clear my name. 
They only have two creatures for me to kill with Rasa. Come on, play another creature. Yeah. Boom. See, that's the kind of game we want to play. We want to play against the other mid-range deck. They had some elusive, but not enough elusive to kill us. That's where our deck can just keep on going. Um, going forever. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're going back to Avacyn restored, soul bonded. Soul. Oh, this is this is aggro here. Hmm. So it'd be good if we could get the cursed keeper to die. Draven, Katarina, Darius. Dang, just give me something that's gonna die. Something we can block with. Give me like a one drop or a two drop, we can die. We can die. <laughs> Not eight drops. Wow. The world awaits. Forward. I tried mulliganing so much too. Didn't help. Well, we can start with the Scribe of Sorrows. The flavor text on this is one of the best of the game. How do you figure out their flavor text? Oh, here we go. Noxus has no room for for weakness. Will someone get this thing off me? <laughs> so affectionate. It's cool that you can just full full screen the cards. If you want to like take a look at any of the art, and it you know it expands the art on the card, it only shows it has it zoomed in. Victory requires a sharp blade. What does Black Spear look like? Oh, well, that's lame. Oh, spells, all the spells don't have extended art, so, oh, okay. Nothing but Noxian might. Everything you can. So many years, so many. We're gonna go like infinite on playing Scribe of Sorrows. So we have like infinite three mana two threes. It's kind of like Militia Bugler always gets another Militia Bugler. But can we stay alive? For glory. Run them down. So I'm not blocking the 6-3. I mean, unless I can with the 3-3, three, three, but yeah, they won't let me. Oh, I forgot about that combo. That combo is brutal also. So I either, I either bolt the 6-3 and then I'm not taking 6, or I bolt this 5-1 and then my 3-3 three, three doesn't die, but then I take 9. I think I have to not take 9, so I have to bolt the 6-3. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, we had, we had the creature die. So this is a, a great combo.
But thankfully we have infinite three mana two threes. So we can have one of them die every turn. It's Draven time. Remember why we fight. I don't know, why do you fight? God axes need victims. For the Empire. Just a moment. Oh no, we got chronicle chroniclers of ruin. So we can block forever. <laughs> Axes coming right up for glory. Chase them down. So I want to block everything except for Draven. I want to block the rest of these. <clears throat> I mean, we won't trade with the five one, but I assume they're going to pull something towards the five one. Yeah, but then we can trade with these two. And I will just sack this thing to draw two. I have too many cards. Yeah, just focus in more on Runeterra, Mega Xmas. Hey, we got our first two subs of the day. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity. For the gift, we got uh, my BTS and Nofe. Welcome to the channel, y'all. Get some hype votes in the chat for our first subs. Opponent surrendered. Yeah, because I just have I just have nine cards over here, you know, and they just weren't gonna be able to get through. They saw the writing on the wall. So if they're if they're attacking on the ground, love it. Thanks everybody getting those hype boats in here. If they're attacking on the ground, we can last you know forever. Like we This deck is sweet. It's it's the burn spells going upstairs. And uh you know, attacking with elusive. That's those are the two things that I'm pretty worried about. Yeah, I think they were kind of tilted with those scribes. This is a good hand. I'll keep it. See, I only have two champions in this deck, just one one Callista, one Trindamir, but like don't even really need those, honestly. You could you could definitely play this deck with no champions. Could be a zero zero champion deck. Border from here. These old eyes still see far and clear. For the homestead, look out for reavers. Alert the village. All right, we both draw cards with our creatures dying. And then next turn, whenever I, now that I had a creature die, I play Scribe of Sorrows, so I get to draw another one of those things. Ooh, or I can just play the Undying. And then Chronicle of Ruin the Undying, because that's a pretty sweet combo. Kind of want to do that. And then, because then I, I'm going to curve Undying into Chronicle of Ruin it, and then into Remitter it.
Honestly, wasn't sure if I was supposed to block with the 1-1. Just to kind of clear out the battlefield a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you do get the one Trindamir for free, yep. So that's true. So yeah, you can just play it with the one champion because you get the one for free. And I I just opened a Callista. But you don't really need Callista in the deck. The wolves are scary. Uh, yeah, so it does come back, so we get the new one. Sweet. Bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world. What is this? Frostbite, the strongest enemy at the beginning of round. The Scribe of Sorrows is probably going to be drawing me another Undying. The frost reveals all to me. I think things are probably going to die. I don't think they're just taking 14. I could use the, the slot as far as just sacrificing the 1-1 one, one for free. Kill one of these things. Keep them from frostbite my stuff. Ice runs in our veins. Ugh, I guess if they just pass, I don't get to play anything. But, you know, I get to just keep on attacking in. Yeah, I, I'll i be surprised if we lose this. I'll be surprised if, if we lose this. All the world on one arrow. I'm not sure if Ash is good enough. to lead them to victory. But it's possible. So, creatures with zero power cannot block. For 
one Freljord. The other card was more annoying. I was frostbiting my best enemy at the beginning of beginning of turn. So going straight to combat, so they can't play other things, and then we do have the eight mana for Rasa. Something dies, we get to Rasa. The time is right. Strike now. Going down to one. The War Mother will unite us all. Only killing one creature, but oh well. We still have this in the bag. This deck's pretty sweet. As long as you don't play against like the aggro deck that kills you right away. <laughs> we get so much value. Many tribes under one banner. The war mother will unite us all. Tall as a mountain and covered in ice. Sweet. Uh, we, yeah, we've seen some Noxus, yeah, Noxus, uh, PNZ, those burn decks. That was our one loss. Uh, with this deck, yeah, we've seen we've seen some of those today. We're gonna be playing one later on, or I guess up next, the discard burn. We're gonna be playing again. We're gonna be playing one of those kind of decks ourselves and trying it out. All right, four and one. <laughs> Being fast is, is in you know that is a good spot because we have seen a lot of a lot of Ezreal control recently. Man, I, I hope Oh wait, what are they okay yes yeah, so they're playing a mid range deck. Okay. This I mean we're just gonna have a board full of undyings. So if they if they can just outlast undyings. What does he want from me? Anivia, Anivia, Karma, Dan and Dusk combo. This game is one with like five Anivias. Do you have Do you have a list to send me Jung Jung list? I I don't have. I'm gonna champion that thing. I don't have Anivias, and so it'll be a little while before I can craft an Anivia deck. I have zero Anivias, and I'm I'm basically out of like shards. Right now, that's yours. Yours, cool. Thanks. I'll put it up here after this. Oh no no! Oh my gosh! I just played the wrong thing. Uh. uh. No, you don't keep... Man, this this really hurt. I, I may have just cost myself the game. I didn't play my 3-drop. The 3-drop that I really needed and then to start doing all this stuff. Uh, that could have cost me this game. No, you don't you don't keep the cards you draft because, you, you know, you get so many cards. But um, the cost of a draft is... The cost of a draft is the same as the cost of a of a champion, and you always get a champion. So instead of getting like a, a champion wild card that you you know you're going to pick out, you get uh, a random champion. But of course, there is a um, 
there's a limit on how many wild cards each week you can buy. But yeah, you always get a champion, plus you get other rewards and stuff. But like that's like the the bare minimum reward is getting a champion. Hmm, that really hurt. Cause I should have should be up one extra card than what I am. So they may they may get me with all the ephemerals. Basically, should. I basically time blocked myself on turn three. Well, they got a good combo here because they're gonna this is just an awesome combo they're gonna grant the undying ephemeral by attacking with it here that's that's an awesome combo There's a chill in the air. all right i'm gonna make a play that's a little less value So we get a random five drop. No, it was a five drop that couldn't survive Lucian. I wanted it to be a, at least a four toughness five drop, but this round's on me. ouch! Yeah, we don't even get to really survive. Yeah, so there's seventy-two total champions. Because, yeah, there's 24, and you can get three copies of each. Man, I can't survive that thing either. That was not a great luck. Hmm. Yeah, everything blocking is the exact same. This is a really nice combo. Black Spear is a good draw for us. All right, so I can go Chronicler of Ruin and Scribe of Sorrows. And Black Spear. I'm just gonna have a board full of these things. History's in my hands now. Unfortunately they can't they can't block.
Gotta kill Lucian. Lucian's about to flip. Yeah, I mean, and they're gonna have more sets. Like, it, you know, they'll probably have like three sets a year. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of potential with yeah, with, with just like this one set is awesome. And so yeah, pretty excited about what's gonna keep looking like. Wow, I got really good five drops. That was great. I only have two blockers. So I'm I'm just dead. They just go to attackers. Sacrifice for a well, Now I got more blockers and a removal spell. If they would have just gone to gone to attackers I would have died the talking. Be right out. Right out. you will be scoured from this land All my stuff is still three toughness? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Can't block anything and have it survive. Doesn't really matter where I block, all four of my stuff's gonna die no matter no matter where I put them. Just realized that we got another, we got another three toughness five drop where their five drops are like the five five tough, this five five life link tough. It's gonna be tough to survive because I have these three things that can't block. This is the problem with this card, it's just taking up too much room. Right now, they don't have another ephemeral thing. All right, play, kill this thing. Get something bigger. Yay, a four five. I would love to hit something with lifesteal. That would be ideal. All right, and now I'm going to kill this thing and revive it so that it can Oh no, it's just a play, it doesn't trigger again. Ugh. Darn. Because then I was going to... I was going to, you know, kill one of these things. But yeah, now that all these undyings are just, they just take up too much room. I can't block. All right, well. I was just a little too far behind after I time walked myself turn three. A little too far behind here. D3 
Do you have life steal? Regeneration. GG's. Uh, we'll just let them. Zero experience. I gained some experience there. I learned that I can't take turn three off and play the wrong card. Oh no, burn! Our worst matchup. I'd say Elusive is probably actually a worse matchup for us than Burn. Like the the buffed Elusive's deck. But they're both bad. So I want to I want to kill that thing because that thing just deals two damage to us every time it attacks, which is really annoying. All right, I'm gonna play Scribe of Sorrows, which is gonna give me that one drop back, the Warden's Prey, and then I'll use whenever I play this Urchin, I'll discard the Warden's Prey to play the Urchin. Let me show you what I can do. You're rarely happy with what this card gives you. My first big mission. Don't miss the fight. Um. Try anyone. I do not have good blockers right now. I love a taste of the action. I didn't do nothing. Better run down to twelve. Ugh, shouldn't have played the 2-1. I should have just waited. Alright, let's get some much better blockers out here. Down to four. I guess I could, could Vengeance to, to save two life. I may need to do that, honestly. Hmm. 
I guess a much more... Oh no, I can't... Can I glimpse beyond this and... Oh, I cannot glimpse beyond and... Black Spear. Well, I have to do this just to stay alive. But I'm barely alive. It's killing time. I deal double damage to the Nexus. That's not a very good card. Where's my axe? It's always gonna get blocked. Why isn't Rasa seven mana? game. I think they can just go straight to combat and I'm dead. Because I can't, I can't black spear, can I? As far as I know. Because you have to... Yeah, I have to just click this resolves. And then I just go straight to damage. There's not another interaction step in here, I don't think. No, there's not. All right, we're going to play one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get zero XP for losing. And hopefully get 5-3. Hopefully not the burn deck. Okay, not a burn deck. A mid-range deck. So I think we should be able to outlast the, the other mid-range deck here. I think. Wants a couple soul gorgers. I could see playing a soul gorger or two. I could see doing that. The chains, they never stop. That's the is it six mana, three seven lifesteal? Does that sound right? Closer. I don't bite. He's gonna be so happy. My top end. Um. Oh yeah, with the hearth guard too, and and open the hawk and stuff. My top end is very greedy. We'll admit that. So maybe instead of playing like the eight and nine mana cards that I have, play those kind of cards. A 
egg. Did it move? Quite the dish, aren't you? So killing this would be the aggressive line, but I think we need to try to stay alive. So killing this is the defensive line. So we get the extra 4-4. Four, four. That hurts. And how they just went straight to combat, you know, I can't do this beforehand and, and make the 4-4 and block with the 4-4. Good. What does he want from me? That egg. Did it move? Quite the dish. So they just have two spiders in play. Alright, can we get a five drop that's decent? There we go. We finally got a good five drop. Mike in that 35 month hype. Thank you so much there, Mike. 35 month resub. Alright, so I got three blockers. So you can tell with our hand, we can basically go forever as long as, you know, like. If we both start at 100 life, this game, or like this deck would be even better. I too serve. I'll just block that thing like that. There we go. Just leave me alone! Yeah. Yeah, that is a good point. That's why life game would be really nice. The war mother will unite us all. Justice will be served.
I don't really want to play like these sentries and aristocrat. I don't really want them to clog up the battlefield, honestly. All right, well, we can play Rasa this next turn. But they have some weak enemies to kill that I don't really want to kill. Please, I have connection. Say it wasn't worth it. Speaking of Rasa. One life in exchange for what I get? Oh, I just got another eth ethereal remitter. Alright, we're gonna need. I only have two blockers right now. They're out there. So I guess I'm gonna double spell with for blocker for more blockers. Elise, where are you? No. So we get four blockers. All right, you block there, you block, here, here, here. Yeah, the pumpkin means it's fearsome, which means they can only be blocked by creatures power three or greater. Well, that's not too bad for us. Sure, they go up to 20, but... <clears throat> I'll cut their life total in half. Oh, and that's a that is a play thing, so we can't just kill this and have that keep happening. Attack. No, yeah, no, no summoning sickness in this game. See if they run out of stuff. We we ain't running out of stuff. Like ever. Remember the fallen. 
acá. Uh oh. Let's get a card. These old eyes still see far and clear. Well, I got you know as many blockers as I could out here. Dang, they got two spells, two, three spells to go along with all those creatures. Wow. Well, I guess I'm dead now. I did get vengeance. Still dead though, right? Six, seven, exactly dead. Dang, they just had all those removal spells to go along with all those creatures. That's pretty nice. Yeah, exactly. Taking exact lethal. I guess I should have played Rasa last turn. Rasa and the two drop. Because I get a block there, I get to Vengeance, kill this thing. Take an exact lethal. Darn, so close. Man, that was that was a great last few cards for them to have. All right, I guess I should have been playing some more Rasas and not played Ledros. I think, I guess playing the Ledros. Yeah, so my last two turns, I, my last two turns were not, were not great. Yeah, last, last two turns were not, were not great. All right, so there we go. Sacrifice value. We started off really hot, lost some, uh, you know, lost our last three, I think, in a row. Um, definitely a deck I liked a whole lot. It was fun to play. Uh, you learn, you know, I the last two losses, I think, were you know a lot of mistakes by me. Well, not a lot, but you know, just a couple of mistakes that um, really cost us. Um, I, so I don't know about the Undying card because it just kind of you know can never block, and that's the thing about this deck is like we need we need to block, and we get too many of these in play. The Undying is amazing against control. We just weren't playing against control. It's amazing against control. But that's why I, I didn't have it in at first. I could see I could see cutting the Undying and cutting you know one of these four top end cards and playing something else. Something that's good, you know, something that's good against that aggro. So Hmm. Maybe even just a couple Dark Water Scourges. This card was pretty impressive whenever I had an opponent that played it played this against me and it was pretty impressive. You can basically play it as a fog. You like the one of Undying? I guess you playing this dark dark waters scourge also. I could see playing this card. So that's that's something to think about though. Um yeah, we had an opponent that played this against me that it looked really good. You know, either just playing it as an attacker and you know three mana gain five life. Um especially and then if we have like things that pump it up, you know, three mana gain six life and so on, or you can play it as a blocker. 
and uh, yeah, and yeah, it does it does keep keep our board space open for for other like blockers and stuff. You know, we can just play this; it dies. That could be an interesting one. And especially if you play this early and it dies, and then you can have your Scribe of Sorrows, you know, it could be something that dies, and then whenever Scribe of Sorrows, you play this, you create a copy in hand of something that died, you can make another one. The The Warden's Preys were a little disappointing also. They were a little disappointing. But... Yeah, like they were, they weren't amazing. I wonder like how good Yeti Yearling is. You know, like playing this instead of the Warden's Praise, like where we shuffle two Enraged Yeti into the deck. And then Enraged Yetis are one mana five fives. So like basically we'd have draw steps of one mana five fives. I could see this being pretty good. I'm not sure though. You know, like I'm not sure... You know, like if we if we're going to uh, gum up the ground too much, like where we can't can't play the one mana five fives, like I don't know. Um, so that that was that was something that I was I was looking at that one too. All right, but anyway, so there we go. There's sacrifice value. All right, we got one more deck to play tonight. Some discard burn. Those y'all watching on YouTube. Hit that like button over there. Leave the comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and let me know what you think we could do. Because uh, I think this can outgrind a lot of stuff, but what can, like what are just a couple of tweaks that we can make to make it better against aggro? What would you do? All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Some sacrifice value, though, and I'll see you for the next video.